Yeah, this is Carl from DBR UK. This is Craig. And this is Dan from DBR UK. Keep it locked to the DMV Diaries. Drum and bass to me means that I'm still about, I'm still here making music with my friends. It's it's my little it's, it's my little thing. Oh, it's not my little thing. It's everybody's little thing. But you know, I'm part of I'm I'm a part of it, and I'm I'm grateful to be a part of it. It doesn't necessarily have to be like the most handsomest, coolest part of it. But I'm happy just to be my little part of it. Mentally like a great escape from it, always, you know what I mean? Any frustration, there's a tune for that moment, always. Any time I want to feel sweet, there's a tune for that, you know what I mean? I've just come back from Sun and Bass a couple of weeks ago, and to meet people from all around the world, just enjoying each other, you know, from this music, and to be able to, you know, for a punter to be able to sit next to, oh, it's Marcus Intellex, you know, and just go up to him and talk to him and see that he, and I mean, again, I don't think we have that superstar, I mean, even Goldie, talk to anybody while he's DJ, you know what I mean? He's not, we, I don't think we have that ego thing that, you know, I've met some big techno DJs, you know what I mean? And they're very arrogant. I mean, I don't know whether that's because they earn a lot of money or what it is that they feel, oh, don't talk to me, but I would, I would be mortified if I ever behaved like that to one of my punters, you know what I mean? And you get the craziest punters sometimes and you try to say to them, yeah, I'm just in the mix, I'm in the mix. Yeah. Give me a second, but I would never, never be rude. You know, at the end of the day, you always have to think about the bottom line. These people are paying my wages. Every single person that comes to see me, that's the bottom line at the end of the day. Drum and bass means to me, what does drum and bass mean to me? Drum and bass is like, like I said earlier, man, it's, it's what I've grown up with with sayings that shaped me as an artist. It's like, I can't imagine life without drum and bass, you know, from the early tapes up to going raving. I was a rap, I said it, I said it in my new mixtape, I was a rapper before I was a ra raver. I'm sorry, I was a raver before I was into the drum and bass and I was just going to the clubs. I was friends with Skibbity, I was friends with Funstar, and obviously that, that's how I got kind of drawn into the scene. But I was a fan of the music even before that. So I'll always be a fan of the music and I'll always love the music and to be a part of it, when I first got into it, when I first started playing at these clubs and being next to certain guys and DJing and, and certain DJs, I was I was quite gassed to be honest because I'd grown up listening to certain individuals like people like Shabba, you know what I'm saying? To actually do a set with him for me was mad because I'd grown up listening to and admiring these guys for years all through my school days. So I feel very blessed to be a part of the scene and drum and bass definitely means a lot to me. Drum and bass to me is almost an identity. It keeps me rooted and I've felt more of a person having that community and meeting the people that I've met has been unbelievable, especially over the past three, four years. Um, I've built connections with people that I never would without this kind of music. Um, yeah, it means so much to me. Even saying the word drum and bass just makes me smile. I'm such a geek. So yeah, hopefully that <laughs> will show you just how important it is to me. Um, it is the one thing that can completely transform the way I'm feeling. And it's the one thing that I mean, music in general, I've had a passion for music since I was a kid and I've worked in it since I was 17 um, in various genres. It's the one thing that I feel like I can always rely on and that just gets me hyped, you know, and that I can, oh, bore the bloody living daylights out of people just chatting about tunes and music because I care about it, you know, and it's the one thing it just completely evokes all kinds of emotion and touches me there. So, yeah, that's what drum and bass is and without it, I want to be on the radio, and that was a dream since I was a kid. So, you know, I made it. I'm pretty chuffed about that. As cliche as it is, it, it is life. Like, I've been, I've been doing this thing since, yeah, 2001, 2002. If anyone had said to me uh, um, at the outset that this is what I'd be doing for the next decade, I'd, I'd have laughed. I'd have been like, what? No, surely not. Of course not. But, um, yeah, here, here I still am, um, still doing it, 
fairly regularly, still still living from it, still seeming to be appreciated by the majority of the people that I perform for. So yeah, I'm 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 grateful. Drum and bass means a lot to me. But I will have to say jungle means the world to me because I am a jungle boy. You know, drum and bass is all good and, and that, but I'm kind of, my, my passion is playing the music of sort of like the mid 90s, sort of the early 90s to the mid 90s. So I love drum and bass, but jungle music is, is my life. You know, I, that's no music ever come close since before and, and ever probably will. For a vibe, you know, I appreciate great music nowadays, but. I see it week in, week out. A dance can be dead. Put a bit of jungle and everyone goes mad. And then you're talking nearly 20 years down the line for some of these tunes, and it's just got something about it that makes people happy. And they tried to shut it down because everyone was gangsters in the old days. Fucking happiest music about. Uh, well, it's, it's important to me for sure. I think. It's, uh, I think personally, I think it's, it's important, I think, for for anyone to have to have something in their life that like like you know call it a hobby or an interest um, real important as far as I'm concerned you know if you, and it could be anything like you know it doesn't have to be music but any sort of art sport it could be knitting you know if that's your thing like I think it's real important for um, for people to have a a thing that they that they work at, that they can um, aspire to do better, to you know, to live for, basically, you know. Well, I'm not going to do the old bullshit one where, oh, if I didn't have drum and bass, I'd be in jail. But I probably would be. No, not really. Uh, if I didn't have drum and bass, I'd probably be on the building site, like you know, working with my dad. I was joking, I'd answer, uh, and I'd say I was rich and on a desert island with my kids after a successful career doing something lucrative. But I'm rich in a different way, really. I've got good friends, I have good times, and it's the only sound that really appeases me, man. Like, everything else is just boring to me. Like, it, it's... it's fast enough, there's enough ideas, there's enough influences, I can do whatever I want and go wherever I want. It's, there's the most freedom in it for me, man. I would be dead, maybe not physically, but maybe mentally. Um, I would definitely not have seen as much of the world as I've seen in the way that I've seen it. Um, so, drum and bass for me is, is, is my life, really. Um, and it has been for a long time and it will be for a long time. Um, I really don't even want to think about what it would be like without drum and bass. So. <laughs> without drum and bass, like, so yeah, probably sitting in a dead end job, doing nothing, being a little shit. So yeah, drum and bass. It's a nice thing to have, it's just a community. You know, it's not just music, you know, there's a community amongst artists, amongst fans and many other things, so I think it's, yeah, I would be... I'm not in, in it because it's fashionable mm. or any reason no. like that, it's blatantly because I enjoy the music, ultimately. I can go out quite quite happily, sober as a judge, for like a good eight hours, which a lot of people kind of find a bit funny, but I can appreciate the music that way. Yeah. I think without it, I'd probably just be doing my, my IT exams, which is pretty boring, so... <laughs> I'd rather, you know, have an interest outside of that and. And that's what it seems to me. Yeah, same. If I hadn't had the courage to drop out of uni, um, I was probably do. I don't know what I'd be doing. Maybe something in photography or graphic design because I did that at college. Um, maybe working in some mundane nine-to-five job. I might have kids by now. All my old schoolmates have got kids and they're married or have been married and divorced. And, um, so yeah, I'm, I don't know where I'd be without drum and bass, to be honest. I'm very thankful for it. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't think of a world where I wasn't involved in drum and bass. That's the honest truth. I, can't, yeah. I don't know any different. No, he's been doing it a lot longer than 1992, so. 93. I don't, I don't know any different. And I think I'll hit my best stride in uh, God knows how many years. I'll probably be working in a, in a kitchen. <laughs> Head chef. 
yeah, it's a big part of my life. I reckon I wouldn't know about 300 people that I do now without it. It means a lot to me, and if I didn't have drum and bass, I'd probably still be like, I'd probably be like playing rhythm guitar in down the fucking dog and duck in some heavy metal tribute outfit, having the time of my life. <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know where I'd be without it. I would probably be doing hip hop. Don't know, but it wouldn't be as much fun, you know. Probably on the scrap heap of life, like many people that I know. Uh, had rave music not come along, I probably would have been a postman still, or a plumber still, or something that I didn't enjoy still. I'd have been getting up on a Monday morning, hating my life, all the way to Friday, and then on Friday I'd have been counting down the day to when Monday started again. And that would have been me till I was 65 and retired, I'd probably died a miserable old git. But, luckily I got this, and uh, I've got a big smile on my face every day. I, I get up in the morning and say thank you every day. I love it. I love my life. I appreciate every minute because I've done all them shit jobs. I've made myself ill trying to be in music and be in work and keep the girlfriend happy and, you know, trying to split myself in a thousand things. And now, luckily, I've got a missus that's the best in the world. She understands and supports everything I do and I've got music and that's it. They're the only two things I have to please in life. It ain't a bad job, is it? It's better than walking around Dagnall with my fucking Royal Melbourne on the back, I know that. So, yeah. <laughs>